system. Yeah, Eric, for some, the ice bucket challenge for ALS was a fun thing to do for a good cause. But for people who know someone directly affected by ALS, it's personal, and it's brought students and staff at a local elementary school together. For the second year, students and staff at Whitman Post Elementary School taking part in the Ice Bucket Challenge. <laughs> dumping ice water over their heads to raise awareness for ALS. They're crazy about this thing. I mean, they're more amped and more excited than I could ever imagine, let alone expect. Chris Gromke worked as a special education teacher at the Rockton School. The progression of his ALS forced him to retire at the end of last year, but he's still considered a big part of the Whitman Post family. It's, uh, there are emotions you can see tied into this because it is such a personal connection. So personal, the entire school has rallied behind Mr. Gromke with Gromp's grace, something Chris knows is really special. For me, I mean, it seems like every kid within a 20 mile radius recognizing it. It's, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty incredible. Yeah. Chris says the overwhelming support he's gotten from the community is not something most people diagnosed with ALS get to appreciate. For many, Chris says ALS is a very isolating, very lonely diagnosis. We don't really have a poster boy, I guess you could say, for the disease because we're not around long enough. Chris says he keeps very active on social media and has a strong support network. His positive attitude is shared by his Whitman Post family. We're going to find a cure to this. We're going to beat it. We're going to kick some on us. <coughs> Whitman Post's second annual ice bucket challenge raised more than $4,700. Oh,